I have had enough of my Edge Pro walking around on me, so today we are going to clamp it down to my bench. First, let's address the problem. It is essentially these little guys. They work okay on this glass surface, but I've had this for a few months now. They goop up, and then the the Edge Pro just walks all around when you're when you're trying to uh, work this. These suction cups slide around. So they are going bye-bye. You'll see the way they're set up here. Um, this is threaded part. It sc screws into the piece here. And then it's just a... Whoop! There goes that one. That piece goes in a suction cup. So the way to get them off, just unscrew the suction cup and then put a pair of pliers or anything onto here and unscrew it from the base of your Edge Pro. Let's see if that will focus in for you. Yep. Zoop. Okay. Bye bye. Now let's talk about what we need to do in order to clamp this Edge Pro down to the desk. What we need is a section of all thread 832 is the uh, thread pitch on that and then we'll need some nuts washers and wing nuts and then uh, that's about it some tooling to cut this piece of all thread down to desired length the next step is to determine how long to cut the all thread in my case my bench is just about two inches deep the stud will screw into the edge pro you can see that about half an inch sorry for the glare and then we want to account for the amount that the suction cup stood up off the bench which is about three quarters so now we're at an inch and a quarter plus two three and a quarter and give ourselves some change on the bottom to get our uh, call it a good easy inch on the bottom what I'm up to now four and a quarter four. show you this little trick for cutting threaded rod in a vise put these nuts in here to clamp down on and then what I also did was I marked my spot with a little magic marker and now I'll go after it with my hacksaw And then to clean up the thread, since you have this nut on here, you walk it off. And it will usually just align the threads at the end so that you can get a nut back on it. Otherwise, take a little file and clean it off here. I might do that anyway. All right, now do the same thing, except this time make it convenient for a right-handed person like me. Now I want to show you how I am going to place the holes. See, I started a little sketch there, just like the, uh, what do you call that? You do it with leaves or something. Anyway. important to do the whole surface because there are 
several little imprints that show up here. So you just got to make sure you pick the right one. But anyway, now we set this down on the bench and mark the holes. And they should be perfectly spaced. Now I'm going to set this up exactly where I think I want it on the bench. Now that I have it exactly where I want it, I'm just going to drill through my two holes on the table. I'm going to start out with a 5 32nd bit and then uh, size it up if we need to. single-use template. Alright, I see that 532nd bit is just a bit too small, so we will size it up to the 316. Okay, so driving all thread into anything can be problematic sometimes. So let me show you how I do it. Starting it by hand. It's actually going pretty smooth. But then to snug it up, I lock two nuts on here, drive one into the other. just to take the time to get the right tools. Just drive that into the bottoms out. Or that's probably enough there. Okay, I'm gonna just crack these. these is going to go all the way up. This will be the one that sets the height off of the bench. So somewhere right around there. Something to uh, be equal to that. Actually a little bit lower. Right around there. Okay, next side. Okay, so now I got both of these mounted up, screwed in there nice and tight, and let's try them out. Okay, that's butter. So, already, very good. What we'll do is we'll set some washers right here, and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. We'll 
run a washer up here and the wing nut and clamp that baby right down. Okay, so that's it. It is mounted up. It is shaking the whole table. That is that is solid. These are down down firm. I've set the height to be about what it would be with one of these. But regardless, that is fixed now. These are both down hard. Uh, and it's tightened up underneath. So that is it. Uh, I owe a big shout out to the Apostle P. He showed me how to do this on his YouTube channel as well as a bunch of other uh, Edge Pro sharpening tips. So I appreciate that. This costs about five bucks uh, in hardware and it's gonna save me a tremendous amount of time in just monkeying around with that Edge Pro. So big win.